gosh. Hey, what's up guys? Today's video is a recipe video on how to make homemade fermented guacamole. And I love making this recipe. It is super simple and super easy to make. And you can, you can customize it however you want, but the basic kind of simple foundation of it is really easy to do. And the reason that I've been doing this is because I've been incorporating a lot of fermented food into my diet. And the reason that I'm doing this is to increase the amount of probiotics that are going into my system because my gut is very imbalanced and there's a lot of overgrown undesirable things going on in there. There's some dungeon monster trolls going on in there. So we're trying to clear them out with some antimicrobials, but at the same time, I'm trying to, and I am executing the plan of introducing and increasing the amount of probiotics that are in my system. And this is super important. And the reason that I'm on this health journey that I am right now is because of concussions and the concussions aren't healing because of inflammation and the inflammation is coming from my gut. And so probiotics are one of the biggest things that I need to do in order to heal and so this is one way of doing it and it's really delicious too and if you're new to fermented foods it may taste kind of weird at first but if you're not new to fermented foods and you've been eating them for a while now then this will probably taste pretty good to you and so without further ado here is the recipe video all right so let's go over the things that you're going to need First, you're gonna need a cutting board and a bowl, a couple avocados, a spoon, a knife, a jar with a lid, and it can be either a mason jar or a plastic container. And you're also gonna want a container that can sit underneath the first container that you have. So for instance, I have this mason jar that is smaller and it fits into this uh, Tupperware container. And you want this so that any spillover or anything that overflows from your jar as it's fermenting doesn't go onto the counter or anything like that. You're also gonna need some coconut water and you're gonna need a brine. And for the brine, I like to use this store-bought raw fermented pickles. And you can use any raw fermented food such as sauerkraut or pickles or any other thing like that you just want to make sure that it's raw and it's properly fermented and that it actually has probiotics and you also want to make sure that it is very clean as far as the ingredients you basically just want the vegetables that are fermented and salt and things like that you don't want any added sugar or oil or vinegar nothing like that an alternative to using the brine from a fermented food you get at the store, you can also create your own brine. And so for your homemade brine, you're going to take some water. You want it to be clean, filtered water, nothing nasty in there, no crazy stuff going on. And then you want to put sea salt in it or some healthy salt, not some garbage iodized salt or anything like that. You want it to be healthy salt. <laughs> and then you're going to put a probiotic capsule inside and this will basically substitute the probiotics that would be in the brine of what you b would buy at the store like what I use and so you have this you have the probiotics you have the sea salt and then you're gonna add some coconut water and the coconut water is going to give a little bit of sugar to the solution that you're creating and so the fermentation process will be boosted and get a kickstart basically so I like to do this it it speeds up the fermentation process and yeah I just like doing this and so what you're gonna do is just add all these things to this container or whatever you're using to hold it and just mix it up and then just keep that on hand the last thing that you'll need is optional so you don't have to do this and you might you might not want to do this at first. You may just want to do a super simple recipe without this stuff, but adding a few extra ingredients can make it taste super de duper bomb. And so, so for this recipe, I added cilantro, dill, basil, and sage, as well as some garlic. And these are smaller cloves, so I used quite a bit of them. Make sure that everything is organic or at least 
try to make sure everything is organic you want things to not have pesticides or things that would kill off any good bacteria because that's kind of the whole point of what we're doing here you want it to be healthy and a living vibrant food that'll help you heal your gut so yeah all right so you got all your stuff now let's get into how to make it all right so take your jar that has the lid and what you want to do is pour the brine from your pickles or your sauerkraut into that jar and then you want to add a little bit of the coconut water and this will be your brine and if you made your own brine then just keep that ready all right so now take out your avocados and then you're going to cut them with the knife and put them into the bowl via the spoon and then you're going to mash up the avocados into a consistency that you like and then you're going to put in the herbs and extra ingredients that you have if you want to. And in order to do so, I must cut the garlic with the knife that I have prepared, ready to go. And just sprinkle it on there. Just put the stuff in there, blend it together. Do a little mixing. All right, so the last thing that you're gonna be doing is you're going to put the guacamole or that mashed avocados basically into the brine that you created or you bought from the store. And so what I like to do is I like to make sure that the brine saturates pretty much all the avocados. So you wanna mix it around really well. And then I like to make sure that there's no air at the top. And so I'll fill it up all the way to the top and it'll be kind of cool when we get to open it because it'll kind of pop and hopefully it'll do that with this batch and i'll show you when we see the final result so that's pretty much the hardest part you created it and now we just got to let it sit for however long you want to let it sit i'm probably going to let it sit for about a day or maybe a day and a half i really want to see how sour it can get so i will be back when it is completed and show you the final product all right, so I let it ferment for about two days and let's see what happened. Yeah, so it kind of exploded, which I mentioned at the beginning that this might happen. And it's actually a really good sign that the fermentation process was was working. So I think it might be smart not to fill it up all the way. Or if you're going to do this, then maybe don't let it ferment as long. And as you could see earlier, uh, you can you can see that the lid was bulging and that means that all this pressure from the fermentation process was just building and building and building and <laughs> looking at the place where I opened this you also might want to open it up over a sink or do it somewhere where you know that if it explodes then it may be safe and not uh, potentially making a mess like I did here I totally was not expecting it to explode like that and that was that was definitely the most explosion I've ever gotten from a fermented food yeah to avoid this explosion you could not fill up the jar as full as I did but I like to fill it up as much as I did just to prevent any mold from growing because it's happened once before and I just don't want to take any chances with that even though I did I did kind of waste a little bit with the explosion it kind of went all over the floor so you can do it either way but just kind of experiment and do what you feel like you got to do but yeah if you don't want it to explode like this you don't you can let it not ferment as long or you can not fill it up as much to the top 
All right, so I'm doing a taste test and it is super tangy for sure. Super sour. My face is saying it all. I like cocoa. Oh my gosh. It's so sour and so tangy. It has like this crazy, this crazy tang. It's just crazy. It's so tangy. Oh my gosh. I don't know if I'm in focus. But yeah, the final result came out really, really good. And I'm really glad that I put the garlic and other herbs in there because it added a boost of just gangster flavorings. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Ace.